Welcome to the water queue. Fine, thank um, you. Can you show me your badge? Yeah. Yeah. Your name is? I'm Dr. Viranahu Naharajan. And you're from? I'm from Tamil Nadu, India. Okay. So what do you work with? Actually, I have come here to make a presentation on neural computing technique. Huh? That is validation of membrane treatment. Basically, it is an application of wastewater treatment. Uh, in which coupled with the membrane technologies. Membrane technology. Membrane technology. Okay. And here I am going to make a presentation on the, specifically on the validation of membrane technology uh, which is utilized or applied in treatment of tannery wastewater. Okay. Tannery wastewater. Mm. So industrial effluent. And how long have you done that? Uh, actually it is a part of my research program. Uh, my research program was in, I have done it in four parts. One is prediction analysis, how the pollutant is, how it is transported through the underground water. Second one is, what is the type of treatment suitable to address the problem. Third one is, validation of the suitable technology. And fourth one is the economical part of it, that is the benefit cost analysis of the system validator. Here I am going to make presentation of the third part, that is validation of the membrane technology in respect of tannery wastewater effluent treatment. So you have a very technical presentation. Yeah. Is it something kind of new? Are you new yeah. in your area of okay, research? For information, yeah. the membrane technology, particularly in wastewater, of course, membrane technology is usually applied in most of the kind of part of most part of the world for drinking water to get the drinking water from the sea water or whatever may be so. As far as uh, industrial effluent is concerned in India only. That too, particularly in our state, Tamil Nadu, we are employing uh, membrane technologies very widely for industrial effluent, particularly in tannery sector and the textile sector. See, uh, in tannery, it, it contains most of the organic pollutants, along coupled with the uh, dissolved solids content. That is salt matter. Similarly, in textile dyeing effluent also. It contains color and salt matter. Removal of color and organic pollutants is easy, it's common. In all over the world, what they are doing with the tannery, even in Italy and everywhere in other part of except in other part of the India, uh, particularly specifically I'm telling about the our state Tamil Nadu. In most of the other parts of that, what they are doing is they are simply removing organic pollutants and the remaining they are let into the sea water or uh, river sources are on land. Whereas in our state, which is uh, mainly depends on the groundwater, mm -hmm. since surface water poorly supports our state, so we are totally depend on the groundwater and rainwater. So we don't want to pollute it. And already we cost, uh, that is in that in two industries that cost so many damages to our environment. Mm -hmm. So you, in order to restrain that and to protect our uh, resources, we are employing membrane technology for the wastewater uh, treatment of textile and tannery sector and we are very successful in it. Yeah. Uh, is it a cheap technology that is easy it's accessible? Cost, or highly, cheap, highly It's high. Okay. So there is no, there is a need for there is no other go. We have been forced to go that. Yeah. And there are a uh, lot of complaints from the agriculture sectors. Mm -hmm. Since they are getting uh, affected, mm -hmm. already most of their lands and water sources are uh, damaged. Mm because of uh, continuous discharge of this kind of thing. Okay. So, the board, statutory board, they have no other option to uh, ask them to go for membrane technology. Okay. That is, in order to restrain such kind of effluent into the river, they can go for membrane technology. There are two advantages. One is, conservation of water. That is a magic thing, conservation of water. Second is, the effluent is restrained to discharge into the river. In that way, they are recovering the water and reuse it in the process. Okay. Mm -hmm. So totally elimination of pollution as well as conservation of water. Mm -hmm. Both the things you have to do. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank